All of these uh, camps were based on dreams. If you can dream it, you can do it. Uh, we've got a different world. Problems with people is not new. This gets the young people into a situation to where they can uh, see what it's like to, to live the Christian life. How many people have we seen born into Christ since this uh, facility started? I can think of a couple of times when there came uh, young people here that had hardly any clothing. One occasion was a young man that came in here that had some physical problems and my head counselor happened to get a hold of his suitcase and found out that he had a pair of shorts and some socks. That's all he had. And those kids started bringing to the nurse things that she could pass on to him. And that gave me the idea that if they can do these kinds of things one week a year, they could do it 52 weeks a year. Just this last summer, a young man comes. He comes here and he hadn't been to camp. He obeys the gospel. But when he goes home, he goes home and he tells his father, father's not a Christian. He tells his father, dad, I obeyed the gospel and I want you to. And he says, well, let's study. He studied with his father the same things that he studied here at Mid-South. And his father obeyed the gospel on that Sunday. Heaven will only know of those who leave here. Go back and obey the gospel because of Mid-South Youth Camp. I just hope that people realize the importance of places like this. We are a Bible camp. We make no apologies for it.